Yo, what is up guys? It's Retro Giraffe. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Hopefully everyone is taking care of themselves. This video is going to be an unboxing of the new Mystery Power Box that was released for Pokemon, which is right here. I believe this Mystery Power Box has the best odds of pulling a vintage pack because this one is seated 1 in 5, where other ones were 1 in 10. And I believe I bought one a long time ago, I think during the X and Y era, which is um, right here. Um, usually there will be a booster pack right in there, it was like an XY series. And these were the packs that you could supposedly get in this box, which were a base set, a Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge, we have a Holland Phantoms with the Gyarados, and a Diamond and Pearl Stormfront booster pack. So, apparently these were the vintage packs, but seeing other um, people open them online, you know, on YouTube, PokeTubers, they didn't have any luck, so after I bought like 3 or 4 of them, I just stopped completely and just thought it was a waste of money. But, like I said with this one, as you can see right here, it is 1 in 5, so basically we have a 20% chance of pulling a vintage pack. Some people on social media have actually been posting that they actually pulled the Neo Discovery pack, which is insane. But I think the majority of people have been pulling the Diamond Stormfront, sorry, the Diamond and Pearl Stormfront booster pack. But we can also pull a Fire Red Leaf Green um, booster pack, a Heart Gold Soul Silver Undaunted, and... What is this last one? A Platinum Supreme Victors, you know, it's a Platinum series as well. So yeah, um, give you a look at the other side, you know, some different artwork if it'll focus. And here is the back. So, these are $25. Um, these do come with 5 booster packs as standard, but if you do get um, a vintage pack, it'll be an extra one. Seeing other people open these, the mystery, I guess the mystery items are pretty random, like some people get energies, which is so stupid. Um, energies are just like the most worthless thing that you can get, but people have been getting, you know, holographic cards, pins, stuff like that. So I do have a few of these, um, as you can see right here, and then also we have two in the back. For this one, I might make two videos, or maybe I'll just do it all in one, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, let's actually open these up and see if we can pull that elusive Neo Discovery pack. But most likely, just from what I've been seeing on YouTube, um, a lot of people have been just pulling the Diamond and Pearl Stormfront, so that'll be still good too, that'll be definitely my money's worth, so let's get into this. So we're here at the unboxing station and this is going to be very different because this is going to be my first time attempting to do a face cam. So hopefully it all goes well. But as you can see right here, um, I guess in the face cam we have two of these mystery power boxes. So we're going to be opening two and let's just get into it. I guess the big chase is the Neo Discovery pack. But also we are able to get the Fire Red Leaf Green Platinum Supreme Victors, um, Heart Gold Silver Undaunted. There's also... Diamond and Pearl Stormfront and stuff like that. So yeah, and we do get pretty decent packs, you know, pretty modern decent packs that are somewhat, I guess, within the rotation. So it's not like you're getting complete trash. But let's get into this and let's see what we can get. So let's actually open the first one first. Uh, let me get my knife real quick. All right, here we go. So um, I did actually see a bunch of YouTubers, like I said, opening these, and. To my knowledge, their, uh, I guess their pull rates for getting a vintage pack, I think majority of it was the Diamond and Pearl Stormfront, but majority of people got those, so maybe we can two, maybe? Alright, so we'll get, we're gonna pull out the packs one by one. So the top is open, let's open the top real quick, and let's see what we can get. So the first pack, let's see, is... So we have a Sword and Shield, very nice. Next one is, what is this? Guardians Rising, so not bad. Guardians Rising, um, it was a good set back when Top of Lele was a thing. Um, Crimson Invasion, ah. So for X and Y, I think the set that no one really likes is Steam Siege, and for Sun and Moon, it's definitely Crimson Invasion. But, so we have that, let's see uh, what else. We have a Lost Thunder, okay, and what is this? Oh no way! We actually got a Platinum Arceus uh, booster pack. Wow. So first one. Okay, cool. So uh, we actually got a vintage vintage pack, but cool, 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 man. Um, obviously it's not. Uh, I hate to say vintage because vintage I think it's like up to gold stars, you know, the EX era, so like, I don't know. This is kind of cutting it close, but I guess it still is like an older pack, so I guess that's how they kind of hook people into buying these. So, we have a vintage, vintage, um, 
Platinum Marcus. And oh, there is one more. There is one more. And we have nice Cosmic Eclipse. So I've recently um, been really wanting to complete a Cosmic Eclipse set. Mostly because of the, I don't know the technical term, but the trainer cards with like the Pokemon on them. I think those, I really want to collect a lot of those, maybe even send some into PSA grade. But yeah, so we got, nice, so we got five packs and we got a Platinum Arceus pack as well. So, and let's see what the mystery items are. So we have a coin, so we have a Pikachu coin, but this will focus, oh gosh, it's too, there's too much. There's too much going on. It's hard for it to focus, but very nice. Man, the hollow pattern is just insane on this, but very cool. What else? We do have a holographic. This is a Vivillion um, hollow. And this is actually a um, set card, so it's not a promo. It's actually from the XY series. So we have a Verizian holographic. Very nice card. And what's the last one? Did we get one more? We get a code card. Um, here's a Roaring Skies code card if anyone wants that. Get this full focus. And one last thing, I believe it's a pin. Hey, we got a Mega Rayquaza pin. So, um, I like pins. Personally, I wish they would include a figure, but I feel like, I mean, pins are still good too. But we have a Mega Rayquaza pin. Very nice pin. And we have a bunch of Pokeballs on the back. And we're gonna open these after we open this box right here. So I just want to open all the packs all at once. So let me get my knife again and open this second one up. But man, what a way to start because if you watch um, Leonhardt's video, um, he did pull a, um, what did he get? He got like a brick of energy. So I'm like, that is just terrible because that's not even considered like a mystery item. Like energies are like, the cheapest thing. They're practically worthless. Um, so yeah. So let's move the plastic off to the side. And same thing here, so open the top up and let's go through each pack one by one. So this one, okay, so we have another Lost Thunder with a Blacephalon pack art. Uh, let's see. We have another Crimson Invasion. So um, it looks like we're gonna be getting the same packs for this one. Probably like a Sword and Shield. Yep, it is a Sword and Shield. And then what else do we get? We got like a Cosmic Eclipse and a Guardians Rising. Um, we have, yep, Guardians Rising right there. And let's see, is there one more? We have a Cosmic Eclipse. Okay. And let's see, um, so another Pavilion Holographic. So we got a double of that. We have another code card. This one is for Unbroken Bonds. So if you guys want that. Please take it. Only take one if you're able to. And we do have a pin. First the coin. Oh, we have a different coin. I believe this is a Hydreigon coin. I don't know if this camera will focus, but yeah. We have a Hydreigon coin. Very cool. And do we got a pin? We do. This is a, another Mega Rayquaza pin. So not complaining. Rayquaza is a cool Pokemon, um, especially the Mega form. So very happy with that. So yeah, um, so out of these boxes, we only were able to pick, or not only, I guess we did pretty good in terms of the odds because it's one in five and out of two boxes, we did pull one. So let's put these boxes off to the side and let's just breeze through these packs. Um, yeah, I don't want to take up too much time because I noticed that whenever I make videos like this, I take forever. So um, I'll try my best to kind of just like go through them. But yeah. Uh, so let's go through Cosmic Eclipse. Oh, shoot. So here is a code card for you guys. Um, actually, let's just not do the code or the pack trick and just get straight to it. So we have a Jengmo, Deerling, a Golette, Dewpiter, a Palm, a Sawsbuck, Reverse, and a Mars Shadow. I like how I'm Pikachu's there too. Well, it's very cute. He's like sneaking in the shadows. Shadow Imitation, but we have a Mars Shadow, non hollow Rare, Energy, Krikatoon. Man, good luck reading that off to your opponent if he wants to know what that move does. But we have a Paragraph for improvis Improvisational Performance, okay. A Delamize and a Island Challenge Amulet. Alright, so that's the first pack. Moving on to Guardians Rising. This is in no particular order, it's just, you know, whatever I pull the packs out of, 
or the whatever packs I pulled out of what here is the code whatever the order is for the packs that's just how, how we're gonna do it English Sam come on so we have Alolan Geodude we have a Mudbray Alolan Sandshrew, Cottony, Bellsprout, Salazzle Reverse, and we have a Oricorio, non hollow Dark Energy, Altar of the Sun, Alolan Graveler, Mallow, and that is it. Alright, moving on to the next pack, which is a Sword and Shield pack. So, don't really know the pull rates, I guess, um, in terms of, like, out of the five packs, how many you can get a hollow in. Sorry guys, I'm using my phone to record my face, so the camera's, like, super small. But then I keep looking at the viewfinder, so this is why like I'm looking back and forth. But eventually I'll get better at this. Um, but yeah, so code for you guys. There you go. And we have a Blipbug, a Rhyhorn, Plobopus, Goldeen, Roselia, a Rhyhorn Reverse. Oh, let's go. Okay, so we have a Stonejourner V Full Art. And I love the Sword and Shield full arts, like the incorporation of like the different colors on it. Like we have like orange at the top, we have like green, yellow. It really makes um, the Pokemon pop out. Nice, nice. And this is a full art, textured full art. Put that off in the back. We have a Water Energy, Hitmonlee, Salazzle, and a Metal Saucer. So not bad, not bad. Crimson Invasion. I don't know what, I don't know what's good in this set. Um, I only really know Evolutions, you know, Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising, uh, Ultra Prism, stuff like that, so, yeah, so we have a code card for you guys right there. Just get straight to it, so we have a Jigglypuff, Houndour, Spoink, Mistrevis, Pikachu, very cute artwork, Sea of Nothingness, sad. Regirock, Go Focus, that's the rare, a Psychic, Swine. A Psychic Memory for a uh, So Valley or Type Null, and a dra Dashing Pouch. I was about to say Draining Pouch. Dashing Pouch. Low key, if they release this at the Pokemon Center, I would definitely pick it up for like a crossbody bag. That's just me. All right, Lost Thunder. Let's get into it. How many packs have we opened up? We opened up five. So I believe this is for I guess the first box. And code card for you guys. There you go. And, oh sorry about my phone, we have a Jigglypuff, Mareep, a Alolan Vulpix, Houndour, a Poipole, a Reverse Jigglypuff, and a Espeon non hollow Very cool artwork though. Fairy Energy, Stantler, a Morty, throwback to Gen 2 for anyone who liked the uh, Johto era. And we have a Carbink non, or not, it's not a non hollow it's an uncommon. Come on Sam. Alright, we're moving on to the next 5 packs, which was in the first box, starting off with the Lost Thunder pack. And definitely let me know guys of how you guys feel about the um, base cam. Um, this is very new to me, like it's a lot more setup because, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like a little bit of a glow because I'm using these two lights. So I had to like turn on the lights, I had to turn my room light on, I had to like clean the background because my background was a mess. So um, yeah, but let me know. Um, if you guys like this, I would definitely make it more of a thing. Um, I just need to clean my room, honestly. Like, my room is so dirty. But anyways, getting into the pack, we have a Chansey, a Wurmple, Jigglypuff, a Alolan Meowth, a Cupchu, a Reverse, Nihiligo, um, Nihiligo? How do you say this? I, I remember saying it, like, perfectly when I was playing the games. But we have a Reverse Ultra Beast, and we have a Steelix, uh, non Hollow, Dark Energy, a Cascoon, Wait and See Hammer, interesting. You can use this card only if you go second and only on your first turn. Discard one energy from your opponents. Not bad. Wait and See Hammer. <laughs> and a Netball, pretty cool. Alright, moving on to Crimson Invasion. Not exciting set of Sun and Moon. Which is sad, because hearing like, hearing stories of how like distributors, like you know, like when they buy boxes, like they get out like, I don't know, like 70 bucks or something. So it's pretty cheap, but they're trying to sell it at like, like fire, fire sell it at like 50. So it just kind of goes to show like how bad of a set it is. But yeah, so we have a Execute, a Weedle, Shellos, a, sorry if it's out of focus. We have a Bundlebee, Cacnea, Magikarp, Camerupt, a uh, Fighting Energy, Dashing Pouch, Mawile, and a Laron 
non-hollow. It's not. It's not a non-hollow. I. It's not a non-hollow. I need to stop saying that because it's the last card. It is just an uncommon. So I'm actually gonna cut the video here because my memory card is running low. I'm gonna delete some stuff, but I will be right back. And we'll be getting into these three packs right here. So, one second. Okay, sorry for that cut, but we are back and we're ready to open the remaining pack. So we have a Guardians Rising. Um, I would like to pull a, I don't know, Tapu Lele. Were there gold cards in this set? I am not sure. But we have a coat card for you guys. Come on, camera focus. There we go. And let's get straight into it. We have a Chansey, Snow Runt, Pancham, Bellsprout, Cottony, a Matang Reverse, a Gothitelle non hollow Rare, Psychic, a Lowland Graveler, Mallow, and a Tentacruel. Um, let's see, we got two more packs, Sword and Shield, and Cosmic Eclipse. If you guys saw my live stream, I actually did pull the Marnie, so I was so happy to pull that card. Um, for this one, maybe, maybe I'm just thinking, uh, what's the word, um, maybe I'm being too optimistic, but I would like to pull, um, the Rainbow Rare, Marnie. You know, I can, I can, I can always hope. A Galarian Zigzagoon, Gossifleur, Silicobra, a Reverse Sobble, and a Galarian Obsidian Hollow. Uh, it's not bad. A Aurora Energy, a Double, and a Quillfish. All right, let's see what this last pack can get us. This Cosmic Eclipse. Okay. We have a code card for you guys. Go focus. And let's get straight into it. So we have a Coughing, Nose Pass, Snow Runt, Rock Ruff, Doodling, Reverse Onyx, and a Weavile, I was about to say Sneasel, a Weavile non hollow, a uh, Psychic Fairy Energy, can't even talk, Ends Resolve, a Mawile, and a Flareon. Oh, that's a very interesting artwork. Very cool. Uh, Flareon Uncommon to end it off. But yeah, that is it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm usually not a fan of mystery boxes just because of, you know, I feel like it's a scam, but. Because these boxes were 1 in 5, I kind of took the chance and decided to open a few of these. So we did manage to get a Stone Journer V, as you can see right here. A very beautiful card. I believe I needed this for my... I believe I, believe I needed this for my um, Sword and Shield uh, Collection Binder. So very cool to pull that. Also, we did manage to pull a Platinum Arceus uh, Vintage Booster Pack. So. Definitely gonna hold on to this. And yeah, like even these like top and bottom flaps, they're not even like, no. Nothing is wrong with them. They're still intact. So very cool. Definitely want to keep this seal. But yeah, that is it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please um, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this. If you guys want to see more face cams, please let me know because this is my first one. Um, hopefully all goes well. But uh, yeah, please let me know your feedback in the comments below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. How would I? Do I do like a double? Let's let's try it. Alright, three, two, one.